this video, I'm gonna be telling you about every single fruit in Blox Roots and a complete guide on how to master each of them. Okay, so the very first fruit we got here is the worst fruit in the whole game, and that is the rocket fruit, formerly known as the Kilo fruit. This fruit costs a total of 5,000 belly to buy, or 50 Robux if you want to pay that. The very first ability of this fruit is called Missile Fist, with a one master requirement, and it's very, very simple. You basically just shoot one missile from your fist to wherever you're aiming. Next is the X ability, and this is called Air Strike. And for this one, you basically just summon down an Air Strike that hits wherever your cursor is pointing around three times. Next up is the C ability, and this one is called Rocket Crash. And for this one, you jump straight into the sky and smash back into the ground with a huge amount of force, dealing a decent amount of damage. Next up is the F ability and this one is called Blast Off and this is basically infinite flight ability where you kind of just boost yourself with your rockets I guess and I don't think it's as fast as the flame fruits but it's very very similar. Overall a pretty solid fruit for the price and the best thing about this fruit is that it's always in stock so you can get it whenever you want. Next fruit we got here is the Spin Fruit and this is probably the second worst fruit in the game but I'm not really sure after the recent updates. This fruit costs a total of 7,500 belly or 75 robots from the blocks fruit dealer this is a common tier fruit and let's get right into the abilities the first one is called razor wind with a one master requirement and this does exactly what it sounds like it just spins a bunch of razors around in the place where your cursor is aiming pretty solid ability next up we got the tornado assault and for this one you basically just spawn in the tornado and you start flying in the direction your cursor is pointing and if you want to aim it properly just make sure you zoom out next is the sea ability and this one is called air slasher with a 90 master requirement for this one you basically just shoot an air slash similar to some of the beginner sword abilities pretty cool if you ask me next up is hell helicopter flight and this is very similar to the rocket fruits flight ability but instead of shooting rockets from your legs you kind of just spin them and that basically just allows you to fly pretty solid fruit for the price next up we got the chop fruit this is a common fruit that costs 30,000 belly, so a huge step up from the previous two. You can also buy this for 100 Robux directly from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The very first ability of this fruit has a one master requirement and it is called Tackle. For this one, you basically just launch your torso at your enemy and you hit them one time. Next up is the X ability called Dance and for this one, you basically detach all your body parts and they start spinning around and if you walk towards someone, you're going to start dealing a butt ton of damage to them. Next up is the C ability and this one is called Party and for this one, you detach your fist and start punching the air wherever you're aiming. Similar to the rubber fruit C ability. Next up we got the movement ability and this one's called helicopter. You start spinning your legs just like a helicopter, hence the name. Overall kind of solid fruit but I wouldn't really buy this. Next up we got the spring fruit and this is yet another common fruit and it costs 60,000 belly or 180 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called knock and for this one you basically just shoot for your fist similar to the previous fruit. Next up is the X ability and this one's called spring snipe. For this one you basically just jump forward really fast and if you hit your enemy you deal a bit of damage to them. Next up we got the spring spring cannon ability this is similar to one of the rocket fruits abilities and for this one you spring up into the sky and jump straight into the floor moving on we got the spring emperor ability and this is a pretty cool ability if you ask me because you kind of just bounce around your enemy a bunch of times and deal a butt ton of damage to them next up we got the spring leap and this is the first unique movement ability on this list and for this one you kind of just spring around the buildings but this ability can be very useless if you're just traveling in an area where there's no abilities so make sure you use this one in the right situations next up we got the bomb fruit and this one costs 80,000 belly or 220 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called targeted bomb and for this one you basically just spawn a mine wherever your curse is aiming and if you hold down the ability it actually charges up that mine to do more damage. Next up we got bomb grab and for this one you dash straight into your enemy and you just bomb them. Very simple. Next up we got landmine and for this one you basically just spawn in a button of landmines around you and the size and amount of the landmines depends on how long you hold down the ability key for. Next up we got the self destruct ability which is the V ability and it does exactly what it sounds like. You kind of just self destruct but you don't really die. You just destroy Destructing everything around you. Kind of contradicts the name. Finally, we got the movement ability called Explosive Jump. You just launch yourself straight into the sky, exploding everything underneath you. And this isn't really a movement ability, I guess. It just deals a lot of damage. The only movement is that you're going straight up into the sky, which isn't going to help you a ton. Next up, we got the Smoke Fruit, which is one of the best fruits for its price. And the reason I say this is because it's the most basic elemental fruit in the game, which makes it really easy to buy. The Smoke Fruit costs a total of 100,000 belly or 250 Robux from the Blast Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called smoke slam with the one master requirement and for this one you just slam a bunch of smoke into wherever your cursor is aiming pretty solid ability next up we got smoke blast and for this one you shoot a smoke projectile wherever you're aiming and if it ends up hitting someone it deals a decent amount of damage next up we got smoke liberation and this one is actually very very cool you basically just spawn in a huge smoky tornado around you and it deals a decent amount of damage to everything around you but keep in mind this is area of attack so it doesn't deal as much damage as the previous abilities and next up is the reason this fruit is very very good for grinding if you're a very low level player this is the smoke bomber ability for this one you basically just jump into the sky you can fly around wherever you want but the cool thing about this ability is that you actually drop smoke bombs so you can use this to grind against enemies stronger than you because they literally
Pikachu won't be able to hit you. You're going to be just flying above them, dealing damage to them. But the bad thing is that it's going to take a pretty long time to kill them, depending on their level. Next fruit we got here is the Spike Fruit. This fruit costs a total of 180 Belly or 380 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Spike Summon. And for this one, you can hold down the ability key to summon a ton of spikes. And similar to the Bomb Fruit, the longer you hold the key, the more damage it does. And the bigger the spikes are. Next up, we got the Whirlwind ability. And for this one, you kind of just start slashing everything around you, I guess. Pretty self-explanatory. Next up, we got the Spiky Ball. And for this one, you kind of just turn into White Sonic. You can just start rolling around. And whatever you hit with this ball will move along with you and it will constantly be taking damage until they get out of your way. Next up, we got Spike Barrage. And this is similar to one of the Sand Fruits abilities where you just shoot a bunch of spikes from where you're standing to wherever you're looking at. And they deal a decent amount of damage. Next up, we got the Flame Fruit. This fruit is the first uncommon fruit on this list and it's also the first fruit to have an awakening. This fruit costs a total of 250,000 belly or 550 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. The first ability is called Fire Bullets and it's very self-explanatory. You just shoot a bunch of small fire projectiles to wherever your curse is aiming. Next up, we got Burning Blast and for this one, you shoot a huge fire projectile and this time there's only one so you already know it does more damage. Next up, we got Fire Column and this is kind of like a fire tornado that you spawn exactly where you're standing and it deals AoE damage to everything around you. Next up, we got Flame Destroyer, and for this one, you kind of just spawn in a Fire Spirit Bomb, and it deals a lot of damage to wherever you throw it. But the bad thing is that it takes a while to land. Next up, we got Fire Flight, and this is very self-explanatory. You set the back of your body on fire, and you can just fly around pretty fast. But now, let's get into the Awakened versions of these abilities. The first ability changes to Blue Fire Bullets, and they're still projectiles, but they're a lot faster, and they're actually blue, which makes them a little bit cooler. And it's 500 fragments to awaken this ability. Next up, we got Prominence Burst. The fire projectile you shoot from before just becomes a lot more enhanced. And the effects look way cooler, and it costs 3,000 fragments to awaken this one. Next up, we got Flaming Vortex, and this basically just upgrades the previous ability, makes the tornado a lot bigger, and deals a lot more damage. And this one costs 4,000 fragments to awaken. The B ability changes to Hell's Core, and for this one, your Spirit Bomb basically just becomes a lot bigger, and it deals a lot more damage, and it costs 5,000 fragments to awaken. Next up is the Movement ability, and your basic flight ability turns into Rocket Flight. This is basically just a faster version of the previous ability, and it also has these cool ring effects. And this one costs 2,000 fragments to awaken. Moving on, we got the Falcon Fruit, and this is yet another uncommon fruit, which costs a total of 300,000 belly, or 650 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability is called Plumage, and for this one, you basically just grow your wings. A very, very useless ability. I wish the wings just spawned in on your character, so you could have one extra ability. Next ability is called Wind Burst. For this one, you basically just use your wings to shoot a projectile of wind towards wherever you're aiming. Kinda solid, but not really that great. Next up, we got the C ability, and this one is called Bone Crusher, and this is similar to one of the superhuman fighting style moves. You basically just grab the user, and you slam them straight into the floor. Next up, we got the V ability, and this one is called Soaring Talon. This one, you basically just dash straight forward towards wherever you're looking and you deal a bunch of damage to anything in your way. Next up is the F ability, and this one is called Flight. Very self-explanatory, you just flap your wings and, well, you just fly. Overall, this is probably the worst beast fruit in the game, but we got some better ones coming up, so keep watching. Next fruit we got here is the Ice Fruit, and this fruit costs a total of 350,000 belly, or 750 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. This fruit is also special because just like the Flame Fruit, it also has an Awakening. But let's start with the Unawakened version first. First up, we got Ice Spears, and this is very similar to the Flame Fruit's first ability, but instead of fire, this one's made out of ice. Next up is Ice Surge, and for this one, you just spawn in a huge icicle that deals a lot of damage to everything in front of it. Next up, we got Ice Bird, and for this one, you just shoot out an Ice Bird, and if it hits a player, it completely freezes them for a few seconds. Next up, we got the V ability, and this is the special ability. You freeze everything around you, and this is probably the best ability of the unawakened version of this fruit. Moving on to the Awakenings, the first ability changes into Cold Storm. You shoot out the tornado, and it drags your enemy along with it. Very, very cool. And this one requires 500 fragments to awaken. Next up, we got the X ability, and this one, it basically turns the small icicle you create into a very, very massive one, and it deals a lot of damage, and it also breaks observation. Moving on to the C ability, this one literally changes into a frozen dragon that you can direct with your cursor, and you can make it deal a lot of damage. Moving on to the V ability, it basically stays the same, it just freezes your enemy for longer, and it deals a lot more damage, and it also breaks observation now. And with the Awakened Ice Fruit, you also get a cool movement ability called Ice Skating, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You kind of just create ice below you, and you can just skate on it. And another pretty cool thing about this ice fruit that I will mention is that it has two different passive abilities. The first one is that you can walk on water because everything underneath you turns into ice. And the second one is that you get this pretty cool ice trident and you can kind of use it like a sword to deal extra damage. Moving on to the next fruit, we got the sand fruit. And this costs a total of 420,000 belly or 850 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. Just like the previous one, this also has an awakening, but let's start off with the first abilities. The first one we got here is called desert sword. And for this one, it just spawns in a bunch of spikes wherever you're looking and it just deals a decent 
decent amount of damage to the player. Next up is Desert Funeral, and for this one, you spawn in a ball, you trap your enemy in it, and you deal a lot of damage to them. Next up is Sand Tornado, very self-explanatory, you just spawn in a Sand Tornado, it sucks your enemy up, and it deals decent amount of damage to them. Next up, we got Heavy Sand, and for this one, you just shoot a Sand Projectile that deals a huge amount of knockback and deals decent damage. Next up, we got Sand Flight, and this is kind of just a retexture version of the Flame Fruit's flying ability. You just fly, but with Sand Particles, I guess. Moving on to the Awakened abilities, the first one is Desert Blade, and it basically looks the same as the previous one, except it has a few extra effects and it deals a lot more damage. And you need 500 fragments to awaken this ability. Sand Coffin also looks pretty much exactly the same with a few extra effects and more damage. And you need 3000 fragments to awaken this ability. Moving on to the next ability, we got the C ability. The Sand Tornado changes into a Sandstorm. It's just a better tornado, I guess. And the awakening for this ability is 4000 fragments. The ability changes into Deep Sand, which costs 5000 fragments to awaken. And this one actually looks very, very cool. There's also a little bit of pink lightning that I really like with this. Finally, the movement ability, which costs 2,000 fragments to awaken, and the boring old sand fly turns into tornado flight. Much cooler and much faster. Next fruit we got here is the Dark Fruit, which costs a total of 500,000 belly or 950 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And this fruit also has an awakening. The first ability of this fruit is called Dark Rocks, very similar to the Flame Fruit's first ability, you just shoot a bunch of dark projectiles. Next up is the X ability, and this one is called Dark Spiral, where you kind of spawn in a black hole, suck in everything around you, and deal a lot of damage. Next ability is the C ability, which is actually called Black Hole, and you kind of just spawn in a black hole on the floor, sucking everything in and dealing a lot of damage. Next up we got the V ability, which is called Dark Bomb, and for this one you spawn in in a darkness spirit bomb which is actually disguised as a black hole and it sucks everything in and deals a lot of damage. Now let's get into the awakened versions of these abilities. The first one changes to dimensional slash and this is actually the ability Yami from Black Clover uses. A very very cool ability. And this one costs 500 fragments to awaken. Next up is the X ability called Abyssal Darkness and for this one you kind of just start shooting a lot of dark tentacles out of your hand and they deal a lot of damage and they also stun your enemy. The C ability changes to Endless Hole where you just create a bunch of darkness right beneath you which stuns everything and deals damage rapidly. This one costs 4,000 fragments to awaken. Next up is the V ability called World of Darkness. And for this one, you spawn in a gigantic black hole and you deal damage to everything around you. And it costs 5,000 fragments to awaken. And with the awakening of this fruit, you also get a movement ability, which is called Ghastly Step. And this is basically just a copy of Flash Step. So I guess if you have this movement ability, you basically have two Flash Steps. The next fruit we got here is the Diamond Fruit, which costs 600,000 belly or 1,000 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And unlike the previous few fruits, this one actually does not have an awakening. The first ability is called Encrust, where you basically just transform yourself into a diamond, which makes you take less damage. Next up is the Beaming Tackle ability, and for this one, you dash straight forward into your enemy and you deal a decent amount of damage to them, and you also knock them back. Next one is called Diamond Hail, and for this one, you just shoot a bunch of diamond projectiles to wherever your cursor is aiming, and they also deal a decent amount of damage. Next up is the V ability, and this is the best ability called Solar Flare, and for this one you create a huge diamond blast which basically deals damage to everything around it. Moving on, we got the Light Fruit, and we're back to the fruits with Awakenings. And a cool thing about the Light Fruit is that it also has a passive ability just like the Ice Fruit, but instead of a trident you get a spear, and it also deals a decent amount of damage. First official ability of this fruit is called Light Ray, where you just charge up your foot with light energy and you just shoot it. The X ability is called Barrage of Light, and for this one you basically just charge a light beam and you can aim it to wherever you want, and it deals a decent amount of damage. C ability is called Reflection Kick and this is what it looks like. You kind of just spawn in a bunch of light projectiles and you just teleport to the end of it and you just kick the floor. Next up is the V ability and this one is called Sky Beam Barrage. It basically just summons down a bunch of light meteors to wherever you aim it. Make sure you aim well. Next up is the F ability and this is the fastest movement ability in the whole game and it's called Light Flight where you basically just fly straight forward as a ball of light. Very simple. Moving on to the awakened versions of these abilities, the first one changes into Divine Arrow. Instead of the first version of this ability, you actually charge up a bow which has three different charging stages and the more you charge it the more projectiles it shoots with a max of three and this ability costs 500 fragments to awaken next up we got the x ability and this one is called hand of the emperor and for this one you charge a huge light beam that deals a lot of damage and this costs 3,000 fragments to awaken next up is light speed destroyer which costs 4,000 fragments to awaken and for this one you kind of just dash around them a lot and you literally just speed blitz them in a fight next up is the v ability and this is called wrath of god and it changes the initial ability from light meteors to light meteors that are better stronger and faster and this costs 5,000 fragments to awaken next up we got the movement ability and this is actually an upgrade to it. You know how I mentioned before that the initial movement ability is the fastest ability in the game? Well, they actually made it so you can now move with this ability so you can literally control the direction you go because before you couldn't. And this one costs 2,000 fragments to awaken. Moving on to the next fruit, we got the rubber fruit here which costs a total of 750 belly or 1,200 robux from the box fruit dealer. And this ability has a passive ability where if you use your M1 click, you basically just punch your enemy. First official ability is called cannon. For this one, you charge up both your hands and you just hit them with it with a pretty cool 
cool rubber animation. Next up, we got the X ability called Smash, and for this one, you jump into the sky and just smash the floor. Next up is the C ability called Rush. For this one, you lock the character in place and you just pummel them with your fist a bunch of times. Next is the V ability, and this is a transformation, which basically puts you into gear 2, which makes all the previous abilities faster and stronger. Finally, we got the movement ability, and this one is called Slingshot. You can basically aim at a roof or any tall place and then charge up the ability by holding it down. And the more you charge it, the further it sends you flying. Very cool fruit. And it's literally the main character's fruit for One Piece, so who doesn't like this one? Next up, we got the Barrier Fruit, and this one costs 800,000 belly or 1,250 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability is called Barrier Wall. Very self expanding to you, just spawn in a wall, and if a player gets hit with it, it deals damage to them. Next ability is called Surprise Attack, and for this one, you jump straight into this guy and crash right into the floor, dealing damage to everything around you. Next is the C ability, and this one is called Barrier Prison, and for this one, you lock your enemy in a prison, and you can basically just control where you go. So if you're fighting next to water, you know where to send them. Next ability is called Barrier Towers, and for this one, you just spawn in like four or five huge barrier towers that just crushes your opponent. Next up is the movement ability, and this one is kind of boring, I can't lie. It's just a stairs ability, and if you click F, you basically just spawn in stairs. Overall, a pretty cool fruit, but I'm pretty sure a lot of other ones on this list are better. Next up, we got the Ghost Fruit, formerly known as the Revive Fruit. This one costs a total of 940,000 belly or 1,275 Robux. The first ability of this fruit is called Shivering Possession. For this one, you basically just dash straight forward with a bunch of ghastly energy, and you deal a lot of damage to your opponent. Next ability is called Spectral Release, and for this one, you deal damage to everything around you, and the effects for this look very, very cool. Next up is the C ability, and this is called Cries of the Underworld, and you just basically shoot out a huge amount of ghastly flames to wherever you're aiming, and these deal a decent amount of damage, but the first hit deals the most. Next is the V ability, and this one is called Ghostbusters, and for this one, you basically just deal damage to everything around you, and you kind of just create two ghost versions of yourself that imitate your attacks. Next is the F ability, and this one is called Wandering Soul, and it's similar to the Flame Fruit's Flight ability, and this does have a cooldown, so be careful with that. Next Next up, we got the coolest thing about this ability, and that is the fact that if you die, you will actually be resurrected with 50% of your health, and this ability is called Vengeful Soul, and it's probably the coolest passive ability in the whole game. Next fruit we got on this list is the Magma Fruit, and finally, we're getting back to the fruits with Awakenings. This fruit costs a total of 960,000 belly, or 1,300 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Magma Clap, and you basically just spawn in two giant hands, and you just clap your enemy, but this only works if they're standing right in front of you. Next up is the X ability, and this one is called Magma Eruption. You can just kind of spawn a mini volcano wherever you aim your cursor. Next up, we got Magma Fist. And for this one, you can just charge up a huge Magma Fist and just send it flying to wherever you want. Next is the V ability, and this one is called Magma Meteors. They're kind of mid and pretty easy to dodge, so I don't really recommend using these ones, but they do deal a lot of damage. Next is the Movement ability, and this is called Magma Floor, and you just kind of turn into a Magma Puddle, but people can still do damage to you, so this ability isn't very, very good. It basically just slows you down. Moving on to the Awakened versions, which is practically the reason this fruit is one of the best grinds fruits in the whole game. The first ability changes to Magma Shower. You can just spam a butt ton of Magma projectiles and they actually stay behind, dealing extra damage even after the ability is over. And these cost 500 fragments to awaken. Next is called Volcanic Assault and for this one, you kind of dash straight into your enemy, you grab them and you deal even more damage to them. And this ability costs 3000 fragments to awaken. Next up is the Great Magma Hound and for this one, you can just shoot a huge Magma projectile that deals a lot of damage. But it does have a pretty long cooldown. Next ability is called Volcanic Storm and for this one, you basically just jump into the air, you can charge up a fist, and you basically just spam the ground with attacks. This one costs 5,000 fragments to awaken. Next up, we got the Beast Ride ability, and for this one, you fly around in a huge magma beast, and if you let go of it, it crashes into wherever you're aiming, and it deals a lot of damage. And I don't really recommend using this flying ability, because you can literally dash faster than this. So I only recommend using this if you're traveling on water without a boat. But then again, why would you do that? That's kind of stupid. Next fruit we got here is the Quake Fruit, and this is the first legendary fruit on this list. It costs a total of 1 million belly or 1,500 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Quake Punch, and it does exactly what it sounds like. You kind of just punch whatever's standing in front of you. Next up is the Quake Wave, and for this one, you shoot out a huge white ball that drags your enemy with them and deals a decent amount of damage. Next up, we got Quake Erupt. This is actually similar to the first ability, but instead of punching once, you actually punch twice, and you do it towards your side, and it basically just deals AoE damage to everything around you. Next up, we got the V ability, and this is called Dual Tsunami, and it does exactly what it sounds like. It just spawns in a two huge tsunami waves, which are pretty difficult to dodge, so it's basically guaranteed damage. Moving on to the Awakened version of this ability, the first ability changes to Fatal Demolisher, which basically makes the effects for the first ability look a lot cooler and they do a lot more damage. And this one costs 1000 fragments to awaken. Next up is the X ability and this one is called Air Crusher. For this one you shoot out a huge projectile similar to the Unawakened version, but this one deals a lot of damage. Moving on to the C ability, it looks just like the Unawakened version, but it deals a lot more damage. Moving on to 
the B ability, this one actually changes to Sea Quake. And instead of spawning in just two tides, you spawn in a whole tsunami. You literally spawn in four tides. And it's factually impossible to dodge this one, so you're getting two guaranteed hits. This next fruit that we got here is a bit of a special one. It's literally the best grinding fruit in the whole game. And I'm obviously talking about the Buddha fruit. This fruit costs a total of 1,200,000 belly or 1,600 Robux from the Blocks fruit dealer. And you already know this has an awakened version. The first ability of this fruit is called transform and you basically just transform into a Buddha, which makes your body golden and it makes you a lot bigger. And the special thing about this transform ability is it actually lets you do damage to everything around you without them being able to hit you, which is the reason it's the best grinding fruit in the game. So the other abilities are practically useless. But I'll tell you guys about them anyway. The X ability is called Impact, and for this one, you just hit the floor with a bunch of Buddha energy, I guess. The C ability is called Buddha Leap, and for this one, you just jump and kind of just belly flop onto the floor. Pretty goofy. Next up is the V ability, and this one is called Buddha Explosion, and you just do AoE damage to everything around you. Moving on to the Awakened version, your transform changes into a shift. And the difference between this and the basic ability is that the Awakened version basically deals damage to everything around you when you transform, even if it's not a lot of damage. And every time you jump, you also deal passive damage. Moving on to the X ability, it's called Heavenly Impact. It basically just lets you smack the floor better, dealing more damage, and the effects look a lot cooler. Next up is the C ability, and for this one, you basically charge up an energy beam and you can shoot it wherever you're aiming. Next is the V ability, and this is Twilight of the Gods. For this one, you jump straight into the sky and you just start dealing damage to everything around you. A very cool ability. And you also get a passive ability with Awakening, which is called Retribution Dash. And you kind of just dash forward and you pick up an enemy and you slam them into the floor. And if there's no enemy there, you kind of just dash, I guess. Overall, a very, very good fruit. And if you want to finish the game, I definitely recommend getting this one. Next up, we got the Love Fruit, which used to be a very, very terrible fruit until the Valentine's update last year. I wonder if it'll get buffed again this year. This fruit costs a total of 1,300,000 belly or 1,700 Robux from the Box Fruit Dealer. The first ability is called Hard Shot, and for this one, you just charge up a heart and you can shoot it wherever you want, dealing a decent amount of damage. Next up is the X ability, and this one is called Cupid's Bow, and you can shoot it wherever you want, and it's just basically going to lock onto the nearest enemy, dealing a lot of damage to them as long as they stand inside the circle. Next up, we got Irresistible Attraction, and for this one, you just just spawn in a huge heart circle around you and everyone that's in that circle is going to be frozen but only for a set period of time next up is the v ability and this one is called best of friend and this ability is very cool you basically just spawn in a friend from your friends list that basically fights for you next up we got the movement ability and this one is called flamingo ride where you spawn in a literal flamingo and the coolest thing about this movement ability is that you can actually use your other abilities while you're riding on this flamingo which makes it a very very unique movement ability anyways the next fruit we got on this list is called the spider fruit formerly known as the string fruit this fruit costs a total of 1,500,000 belly or 1,800 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. You already know it has an awakening. The first ability is called spider wrath and it basically just uses a small string attack and it deals a lot of damage but the hitbox is very small and it's kind of hard to hit because the range is also really less. Next is the X ability and this one is called multi string attack and wherever your cursor is you basically just summon a bunch of strings from the sky and they deal a decent amount of damage. Next up is the overheated sniper and you basically just snipe in the direction you're looking at and this one also deals a lot of damage and it probably has the best range out of any fruit in the game. Next up we got the V ability and this one is called Ultimate Thread. And this is similar to one of Dark Fruit's abilities. You just spawn in a bunch of strings and they deal a lot of damage for you. Next up we got the F ability and this is called Spider's Path where you basically just charge forward riding on a bunch of invisible strings. Well I guess they're not really invisible. Moving on to the awakened version of these abilities. The first one is called Thermal Laceration. You basically just shoot out a bunch of orange strings that deal a lot of damage and this one costs 800 fragments to awaken. The X ability changes into Silk Prison which does exactly what it sounds like. You kind of just create a prison made out of strings and it deals damage to everything inside it. This ability costs 3,500 fragments to awaken. Next up is the C ability and this is called Eternal White. And you basically just shoot out a bunch of massive strings from the floor that deal a lot of damage. Next up is the V ability and this one is called Heavenly Punishment. And this kind of looks like the Unawakened version but trust me it's not. It deals a lot more damage. Next up we got the Awakening for the Movement ability and this one literally makes you into Spider-Man. You kind of just swing on a web just like Spider-Man does. Very very cool. Next fruit we got here is called the Sound Fruit. This fruit costs a total of 1,700,000 belly or 1,900 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And this fruit does have a tempo meter which limits the amount of attacks you can do. First up we got the Z ability and this one is a very very cool looking ability. You kind of just shoot forward a bunch of melodies that deal a decent amount of damage. Next is the X ability and for this one you basically just shoot out a huge sound projectile which deals damage to everything in front of you. Next up we got the C ability and this is called Symphonic Radiance. And this basically just spawns in a huge disco ball that starts shooting a butt ton of projectiles around it. Next up is the V ability and probably the coolest ability where you just spawn in a bunch of music balls and when you shoot them at 
at your enemy, it basically creates a very, very huge music ball that deals a lot of damage. And this is probably one of the coolest looking abilities in the game. Next up, we got the movement ability, and this movement ability is called Tempo. Another huge word that I cannot pronounce. But you basically just ride on a bunch of musical notes. Very classy. Next, what we got here is the Phoenix Fruit. And this costs a total of 1,800,000 belly, or 2,000 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability is called Cannon, and you just kind of shoot a cannon made out of Phoenix Energy. Very, very simple. Next up, we got Regeneration Flames, and this does exactly what it sounds like. You can just regenerate as much as you want, but keep in mind it actually uses your energy to do that. Next up, we got Fast Kick, and you basically just dash forward with the kick that deals a decent amount of damage. Next up is the V ability, and this one is called Full Transformation, which transforms you into a Phoenix. And this transformation actually takes 10 energy every 1.5 seconds. Seconds, which makes your attacks do more damage and overall a very cool transformation. Next is the movement ability which is called hybrid flight which becomes very useless once you transform because you actually get it for free. Moving on to the awakened version of this fruit we got the tap ability which is the M1 ability but you only get this once you awaken and for this one you just charge forward dragging your enemy along with you dealing a decent amount of damage. The Z ability changes into cremation cannon and for this one you just shoot a projectile that deals a butt ton of damage to everything around you. X ability changes into blue flames and for this one you basically just heal a lot faster and it also looks way cooler. C ability changes into Flame Exodus, and for this one, you kinda just create a Phoenix Tornado, which deals a lot of damage to everyone that's in front of you. Next up, we got the V ability, and this one is called Blazing Plumage, and you basically just turn into a Phoenix, but this Phoenix looks a lot cooler than the previous version. Next up, we got the Movement ability, and just like I mentioned before, this is kinda useless once you unlock the transformation, because this, all it does is let you fly. Next, what we got here is the Portal Fruit, and this is one of the most useful fruits, especially to me, because it helps me a butt tongue when it comes to recording videos. I can just teleport to wherever I want. This fruit costs a total of 1,900,000 belly or 2,000 robux from the blocks fruit dealer. This one has a pretty cool passive ability which is called portal jump where you just kind of jump into a portal and dash straight forward. Next ability is called portal dash which is kind of similar but you can also use this to attack people. If you portal dash into someone then it just pushes them through a butt ton of portals and then smashes them into the floor and that deals a lot of damage. Next is the X ability and this one is called parallel escape which puts you into another dimension which prevents you from taking damage and others literally can't even see you. But keep in mind the moment you use an ability, you'll exit that dimension and others will be able to see you instantly. Next up is the C ability and in my opinion this is the most useful ability of this fruit because it just lets you teleport to any main location in the whole game so you can pretty much get around very fast. Next up we got the V ability and this one is called Dimensional Rift where you spawn in a huge black hole and your enemy gets sucked inside it and this basically is a separate dimension and this one lasts as long as the user has energy so basically forever. Next we got the movement ability and this one is called Quantum Leap and for this one you create two portals and if you walk into one you'll just appear out of the other. Very very cool. Next what we got here is the Rumble Fruit. This fruit costs a total of 2,100,000 belly or 2,100 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And this fruit also has an awakening. The first ability of this fruit is called Rumble Dragon. And for this one, you shoot out a huge Rumble projectile that deals a decent amount of damage. Next up, we got Sky Thunder. And for this one, you summon down a bunch of lightning to everything around you. Next up, we got Sky Beam. And for this one, you just shoot out a huge beam from the sky that deals a lot of damage to where your cursor is. Next up, we got the V ability. And this one is called Thunder Bomb. And once again, we got a Spirit Bomb ability. You basically just charge up a huge spirit bomb and you deal a lot of damage to wherever it lands. Next up we got the F ability and this one is called Lightning Dash which is kind of just a copy of your dash ability which makes this probably one of the most useless movement abilities in the game. Now moving on to the awakened versions of these abilities, the Z ability changes into Lightning Beast which makes the lightning projectile you shoot a lot stronger and a lot faster. The X ability changes into Thunderstorm and for this one there's literally no animation you just start instantly dealing damage to everything around you. Z ability changes into Sky's Judgment and for this one the energy you summon from the sky becomes a lot stronger and a lot faster so it's basically impossible to dodge. The V ability changes into Thunderball Destruction which basically just upgrades your Spirit Bomb making it a lot faster and it lets it deal a lot more damage. Next up is the F ability and this one changes into Electric Flash. It basically lets you spam it three times so I guess it kind of is worth it but you do need to pay 2000 fragments to unlock this one. Moving on the next fruit we got here is the Pain Fruit. This fruit costs a total of 2,300,000 belly or 2,200 robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Heavy Pain and for this one you shoot out a white projectile that drags your enemy with it and deals a decent amount of damage. Next one is called Pain Barrage and for this one you shoot a bunch of small white projectiles and they deal a decent amount of damage. Next up is the Pain Nuke and for this one you just summon a huge paw and you can aim it to wherever you want and once it makes contact it expands and deals a lot of damage. Next up is the V ability and this one is called Torture and this one you actually shoot a red paw and the cool thing about this ability is that once it hits someone it actually does take damage. Next up is the F ability and this is called Self Repel and for this one you can basically just dash forward pretty fast similar to the movement ability of the Rumble Fruit. Pretty decent fruit. Next 
up, we got the Blizzard Fruit. And this one costs 2,400,000 belly or 2,250 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Snowflake Shuriken. And it does exactly what it sounds like. You can just shoot Snowflake Shurikens and you can also charge them up. Next ability we got here is called Whiteout. And for this one, you just spawn in a Blizzard Tornado and you can control exactly where it goes. Next up, we got the C ability. This is called Howling Wind and you basically just deal snow damage to everything around you. Pretty unique. Next up is the B ability and this is called Blizzard Domination. You just basically create a huge ice tornado that deals a huge amount of damage to everything around you. Next up is the F ability and this is called Tornado Flight. And this is actually similar to the Smoke Fruit's movement ability because you're flying and dealing damage at the same time. Moving on, we got the Gravity Fruit. This is the first mythical fruit on this list. It costs a total of 2,500,000 belly or 2,300 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability is called Gravity Push and it's very self-explanatory. You just shoot a gravity projectile, but I'm not really sure how that makes sense. Next is the X ability and for this one, you increase the gravity of everything that's next to you. Next up is the C ability and this is called Meteor Pitch and for this one, you just summon a meteor straight to where your cursor is. Next up is the B ability and this one is called Meteor's Rain and for this one, you summon multiple meteors to where your cursor is. Next up is the movement ability for this fruit called Boulder Flight where you just fly on a boulder, I guess. A pretty cool movement ability. Next fruit we got here is the Mammoth Fruit and this is also a very good fruit for grinding because similar to the Buddha Fruit, you can deal damage to people without them dealing damage to you. This fruit costs a total of 2,700,000 belly or 2,350 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is called Ancient Cutter and you basically just shoot three strikes that deal a decent amount of damage. Next up is the X ability called True Prehistoric Point and you just charge forward and deal damage to anything you hit. Next is the C ability and this one is called Colossal Crusher and just like the previous ability you dash into your enemy dealing damage to anything that you hit but for this one you slam them into the floor as an extra. Next we got the B ability and this is the Transformation and for this one you basically just transform into a huge mammoth. Next is the F ability and this is called Stampede and for this one you just charge forward dealing damage to everything in front of you. For the transformed mammoth you get a passive attack where you can just attack with m1 clicks a pretty cool ability and it makes the rest of the abilities a lot stronger because you're actually in a physical mammoth form not a shadow version Next up, we got the T-Rex Fruit. And this one costs a total of 2,700,000 belly or 2,350 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability of this fruit is the M1 ability. And for this one, you just kind of create a butt ton of scratches similar to the String Fruit. The first official ability is the Z ability. And this one is called Tail Swipe. And for this one, you just swipe your tail and it deals a lot of damage. Next is the X ability and this is called Predatory Screech. And I guess you just scream and it deals damage. Very interesting. Next is the C ability and this is called Hunter's Rage. And for this one, you shoot out a huge T-Rex projectile which deals a lot of damage. Next is the V ability and this is called Reptalian Scales. And for this one, you basically transform into a T-Rex and you actually summon down meteors around you. Very interesting. Next, we got the F ability and this is called Gigantic Leap. And it does exactly what it sounds like. You just take a gigantic leap. And for the transform versions of this abilities, it just makes them a lot stronger, just like the Mammoth Fruit. And some abilities even have increased range at hitboxes. Very, very cool. Moving on, we got the Dough fruit, and in my opinion, this is the best fruit for PvP in the whole game. This fruit costs a total of 2,800,000 belly or 2,400 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And since it's the best fruit for PvP, you already know it has an awakening. The first ability is called Fried Dough, and for this one, you just shoot a small dough projectile and deals a decent amount of damage. The X ability is called Sticky Dough, and for this one, you grab your enemy and you slam them into the floor. The C ability is called Carb Dough, and for this one, you turn into a huge dough donut and you just grab your enemy and smash them into the floor. The B ability is called Restless Dough Barrage, and for this one, you lock your enemy in place and you just pummel them with a bunch of dough fists. Next is the F ability and this one is called Roller Donut. Very self-explanatory, you just roll in a donut. Let's get into the awakened abilities of this fruit. The first ability awaken is the passive ability and these are the M1 clicks. Very self-explanatory, you can basically just do damage like you would with any fighting style. And next up we got the Z ability which changes into Missile Jab which basically just upgrades the missile you shoot. Next is the X ability which actually has two different versions. The first version is when you're standing on the floor and for this one it just spawns in a huge spike wherever your cursor is aiming. But if you're standing mid-air while you use this ability you actually grab your enemy and you put them through a huge dull course and you do a lot of damage to them and you just kind of fling them around you. Next is the C ability and for this one you use your roller donut, you swing them around and you slam them into the floor. Next up we got the B ability and this is very similar to the unawakened version. You just block your enemy in place and you pummel them with a bunch of dough fists. And we also got an awakening for the movement ability and this basically adds hockey to your roller donut so it basically upgrades it, lets it do damage and you can also roll it on water now. Next fruit we got here is the Shatter Fruit, and this fruit costs a total of 2,900,000 belly or 2,425 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And this ability, similar to the Sound Fruit, actually has a meter, which limits the amount of abilities you can use. First ability is the Z ability. For this one, you dash straight into your enemy, hit them a bunch of times, and go flying into the sky. Next is the X ability, and this one is called Shade Nest. This one, you just shoot a huge shadow projectile towards your enemy. Next is the C ability, and this one is called Nightmare Leech. And just like one of the superhuman fighting styles ability, you dash into your enemy, you lock them in place, and deal a lot of damage to them. 
them. Next is the B ability and this is called Corvus Torment. And you just drag your enemy into a ball and you deal a lot of damage to them. Next is the movement ability and this is called Umbrage. And just like the Flame Fruits abilities, you turn the bottom half of your body into shadows and a bunch of bats actually follow you. Pretty cool fruit. Moving on, we got the Venom Fruit. And this one costs 3 million belly or 2,450 Robux from the Blocks Fruit dealer. And this ability also has a transformation, which in my opinion is probably the coolest transformation in the whole game. Anyways, the first ability is called Poison Daggers. And for this one, you just shoot out a bunch of poison blobs that deal a decent amount of damage. And for the X ability, you basically just do the exact same thing, but you shoot out three projectiles and they deal more damage. The C ability is called Toxic Fog and you just create a toxic area which follows you around and you deal damage to everyone around you, but not that much. Next up, we got the V ability and this is the transformation. You literally turn into a three-headed Hydra made out of venom. How cool is that? The movement ability is called Serpent's Wrath. And for this one, you can just fly around with the serpent fruit. And the lower you are on health, the faster you actually go. And that's an interesting fact about this. And basically what the transformation does to the fruit, it makes the abilities a lot cooler and it makes them also do way more damage. Moving on, we got the Control Fruit. And this is also one of the coolest fruits in the game. It costs a total of 3,200,000 belly or 2,500 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability is the Z ability and it's called Control Area. And this is where you create the dome that you can use your abilities in. The next ability is called Levitate. And for this one, you can pick up anything inside this dome and just basically slam it into the floor and do a huge amount of damage with it. Next up is the C ability and it's called Echo Knife. And for this one, you just fly around your enemy, slashing them a butt ton of times and they're actually locked in place. So they literally can't do anything while you do this to them. They're just forced to watch. Next up is the B ability and this is called Gamma Rush where you basically just lock someone in place and you deal damage to them countless times. It even gives you a cinematic view of your dome. Very very cool. Next up is the F ability and this is Teleport. It's basically just a better flash step. You can teleport to anywhere in your dome. A very cool fruit and also bonus points because Law from One Piece uses it. Next up we got the Spirit Fruit formerly known as the Soul Fruit. This fruit costs a total of 3,400,000 belly or 2,550 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. And this ability also does have a bar and this one is called the Spirit Bar. And a unique thing about this fruit is that you actually have two buddies next to you that help you with your damage. The first one is the angel and the second one's the demon. First up we got a tap ability which you can just summon heavenly bodies if the bar is in the blue side. Next up we got the Z ability and for this one you use the angel body to deal a huge ice attack and it deals a decent amount of damage. Next is the X ability and for this one you use the demon body to deal a huge fire attack. Next up is the C ability and for this one you actually use both the bodies. You dash forward to your enemy with the angel body and then you deal damage with the fire body. Next up is the V ability and this is called end of times and this is when both the demon and the angel buddies use their attack at the same time and this one deals a lot of damage. Next up we got the F ability and this one is called Sky Ruler. For this one you hop on one of your buddies and you just fly to wherever you want. Pretty solid. Next up we got the Dragon Fruit which is one of the oldest fruits in the whole game. This costs a total of 3,500,000 belly or 2,600 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. First up we got the Z ability and this is called Heat Wave Beam and it does exactly what it sounds like. It just shoots out a huge beam of energy that deals a decent amount of damage. Next up is the X ability and this is called Dragonic Claw. You basically just claw your enemy with this and you drag them along with you and it deals a lot of damage. Next up we got the C ability and this one is called Fire Shower. You just jump into the sky and you just rain down a bunch of fire pellets to wherever you aim. Next up we got the V ability and this is the transformation where you turn into a literal dragon which makes all your abilities a lot stronger. Next we got the movement ability which once again just like the Phoenix Fruit is useless in the transformation. For this one you just spawn in a pair of wings and you can just fly around. And like I mentioned before all the abilities in the transformation are a lot cooler and they also buff the huge top making them faster and stronger. Moving on, we got the Leopard Fruit, and this one literally costs 5 million belly, or 3,000 Robux from the Blocks Fruit Dealer. The first ability for this fruit is called Finger Revolver, and this one actually varies depending on how much you hold it down. If you click it instantly, you just shoot a huge fire projectile, but if you hold it down, you shoot a butt ton of smaller projectiles before you shoot the main one. Next, we got the X ability, and this one is called Spiraling Kick, and if you hit an enemy with this kick, it basically just drags them along with it, and as soon as they hit something, it sends them flying into the sky and deals a lot of damage to them. Next, we got the C ability, and this is called After Image Assault, and if you hit your enemy with this, you hit them several times, and you slam them into the ground dealing a lot of damage. Next is the B ability and this one is called Transformation. And you basically just transform into a leopard, stopping you from using any other fighting styles or swords and making your abilities a lot better. And it also gives you passive M1 abilities as well as a roar which actually stuns your enemies for a brief second. Next up we got the F ability and this is a movement ability that actually does damage. It flickers you in a direction for a few times and if there's an enemy in the way it deals damage to them. And in my opinion this is probably the second best PvP fruit in the whole game. Second to the Awakened Doe. Next up we got the Kitsune fruit and you will not believe how much this costs. This literally 
actually cost 8 million belly. That makes it difficult for even like end game players to get. And this food actually has a passive ability where you're kind of just running on all fours and you can scratch your enemy to deal damage to them. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can actually do. But let's get into the abilities. The first official ability is called a cursed enchantment. And for this one, you just hit your enemy with blue flames. Next up, we got the X ability and this is called Tales of Burning Agony. For this one, you shoot out a huge flame projectile that zigzags and slams into your enemy. Next is the C ability and this one is called Foxfire Disruption. You just charge up a ball of blue energy and you can shoot it to wherever your cursor is aiming. Next is the V ability and this is the transformation. We spawn in a huge kitsune and you literally look amazing. And the F ability is a movement ability but it also does damage. It's called Wild Assault. You kind of just dash forward in the direction you're looking and if there's an enemy in the way you scratch them. And just like the other abilities the transformation makes the abilities a lot stronger and a lot better. And you can also walk on water with this one. That's it for the fruits.